Champions League winner, World Cup winner, European Championship winner, um, fifth on the all-time Premier League scoring list. Oh. We're not here to be friends or, or go out or whatever it was or, or be nice. We're here to win. I never thought I was going to, to do what I did. It might have been a dream, uh, but what I wanted to do is to be prepared to be able to perform. And like I said, and I used to say, the rest will take care of itself. I'm just reminded of a quote by a man that you know quite well, Arsene Wenger. He described you as the greatest striker ever, the Michael Jordan of football. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, Humble. That's a, that's a big one. Uh, did he say I was a pen in the neck also, in the, in the quote? <laughs> nothing is impossible, that's what I think of. Um, but nothing is impossible, obviously, because you have a group around you that makes it possible for you. Um, that's what I think of, you know, at the beginning of my career, you, you, you tend to, to think about the I in the process because you need to make your way in a group sometime that was already formed and you need to, to, to have an impact so, and to try to find out who you can be and what player you can be. And then at the end of your career and throughout your career, you start to understand that without your mates, you're, you're no one. So when I look at this, although the the pictures and the, the, they were my goals and stuff like that, but it reminds me of the whole process of it and, and how you can achieve stuff when everyone kind of trusts each other. And that's what, that's what I think of when I see that. It's interesting, I've seen interviews with you before where you've said, if a player scores a goal for their team, but the team doesn't go on to win, those goals should be discounted? Yeah. That's incredible. That's so point. it's nothing about no, listen, personal success? Well, it's, it's something that you can share when you're done. I, I kind of uh, uh, bother my kids with that now, with, uh, with the goals that I used to score and stuff like that. But I think for me, one of the most important things is, did it matter in the game? Did it matter in the game? Sorry, that's, that's, that's what you, you're there for. You're there to score goals and win the game. I wasn't interested at the end of the game of uh, if we lost a game and, and I was going to say, at least, you know, I scored two. No, 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 score two, they need to mean something in the game. And if it didn't mean anything, then even when, you know, fairness, uh, I did score goals and, and we won, I wasn't always happy. Uh, or shall I say satisfied? And you score two, you lost four two. What's the, what's the big deal out of that? Incredible. Just Might sound harsh, <laughs> sorry, but uh, keep you on your toes. You're clearly a perfectionist then. Well, I think, uh, I don't know if everyone is, but I say that you showed something yesterday that doesn't mean it's going to be the same on the, uh, the day after. And so I always see it as it's a new race the day after. We're all on the same starting point. Let's see who's going to win that race again today. Um, so I don't live in the past. Uh, although you need, the, you need the past to be present in the future, that's what I always say. But you know, the present is actually the moment that we're living right now. So I was trying to live uh, at that uh, particular moment. And the only time you can go back and start to think about your, what you've done is when it's done. Now I can. That's what I said to you. I bother my kids with it. Thierry, who are some of the, the greatest players you played with? Oof. Dennis Bergkamp has to be one, doesn't he? Well, I can name a lot. Because uh, I had the opportunity to play with a lot of great players, and uh, you know Lionel Messi, uh, Ronaldinho, um, you know Xavi, Iniesta, Zidane. But I played with some guys that I will not even qualify as human in terms of uh, we're talking football. Huh? Obviously, with all due respect, we're talking football because Lionel Messi is not human for me. What he does is not it's not normal. Really not normal. You, you, I don't know if you guys are realizing what the guy is doing, but this is not normal what he's doing. And guys, but when we go back to the normal people, human beings, Dennis Bergkamp is the best player that I played with. Why? Because of um, guys, what, what, what you didn't see is, is, is commitment every day in training and his desire. When he was a great Dennis Bergkamp, he could have take it easy sometime in training, and nothing was easy with Dennis. Champions League winner, World Cup winner, European Championship winner, um, fifth on the all-time Premier League scoring list. No, uh, did, did you dream big? I always say to myself, the rest will take care of itself. Work hard, try to add tools uh, in your game, and whatever happens will happen. Um, but you need, to be, you need to be that guy that's gonna put something on the table for, for the coach to work with. I said before that that pain in the neck in a good way to challenge your coach because that's that's what you're supposed to do also you know cause him trouble in a good way uh, by the way but I, I never I never thought I was going to 
to do what I did, and I think it's good also, because you need to leave something you know, up in the air sometimes. You can't, you can't always guess what's gonna happen. It might have been a dream, of, but what I wanted to do is to be prepared to be able to perform, and like I said, and I used to say, the rest will take care of itself.